Hello, Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is not from this world. Welcome back to my tutorial series. Now, I gotta tell you, I did it. I screwed up. I went to the install manager and I uploaded the new update and it just messed up my Daz Studio. Let me show you. So when I open up Daz Studio, it's supposed to go to Daz Studio 4.24, but it's not. It's still opening 4.23, and then it gives me this prompt that says a tip page for the scene pane is missing. Would you like to create one? So I have hit both yes and no, and uh, you have to hit like a whole bunch of these things. This is really irritating me, so... There are just dozens of these, and then it opens up Daz, but Daz looks completely crazy now. Try and figure out what is going on. Why did it do this? So now it opens up Daz in this really bizarre format, and I can still open up a scene. All right, so you can see it opens up my scene, but it is all kinds of screwed up. So I am not sure exactly what's going on, but I'm gonna go back to install manager. Let's open it up. By the way, I'm still getting this, my install manager needs updated all the time. Every time I open it up, it does this. You can probably tell by my uh, tone of voice that I'm a little bit irritated today because I just got done doing a Daz Studio challenge video with Milica, and then in that video I updated to 4.24 and of course when I go to open it everything is messed up. Why I update I'll never understand. Why do I do it? I don't know but it is very aggravating and I can see that there are <sighs> some glitches in this obviously i didn't see anything in the forums about this getting messed up with your formatting hopefully this doesn't have anything to do with daz studio 2025 alpha but what i'm going to try and do is go to the products and i'm going to select the daz 4.24 items and we're going to try and download them and see if everything goes according to plan. I am not going to select the Daz Studio 2025 yet. Let's install these and hopefully this will take care of the problem. But I am really frustrated. This is ridiculous. So you know how it has a ready to download. It wasn't in the products. I downloaded this Daz Studio 4.24 in the download option, not the product option, but the update option that's no longer there because I downloaded it. So we're going to go ahead and download these and see what happens. Okay, so I got them installed with the manager. I'm going to X out of this as soon as the install has occurred. So they're installing now. Okay, so let's see if that fixed it. I've gotten rid of Daz Studio. We're gonna try and upload it again. So now it says a new interface styling option has been detected. Interface styling options are available for the Windows. Style, style select dialog. Would you like to apply the midnight colorway now? I'm gonna hit yes. I don't know what that is exactly. Okay, so it is back up and running. Look at this, it is a slightly different interface. Okay, so it seems to be up and running. Let me see if I can open up my Milica scene, her dungeon scene. That's what I was using for my previous video. Let's just see if this will work. Everything looks back to normal at least. So it's looking like if you had an issue with your update, make sure you go to products and upload the DAS 4.24. Maybe I was just a little premature and panicking. Oh, great. Now it's got a major flaw. Wonderful. So we are still having issues. Great. 
So I tried to open up a scene and it said that we had an error. So let me try this one more time. I just had this scene open earlier this evening. Let's see what's going on. I really do question updates. Every time I update, 90% of the time I update, I always have a problem. Now, I haven't had this in a while where I've got this uh, missing product where it says our Genesis 8 starter essentials is missing. I don't know why it does that. I did a Daz challenge video about that before. So now it opened up. I had an error the first time. Now it opened up. Perhaps it is working. I am not sure what is going on. At any rate, if you had a problem with your update, make sure you are completely getting everything in Install Manager downloaded. Maybe I was a little premature in panicking because now it looks like everything's working. There is some differences though, which is kind of interesting. Let's go into iRay Preview and see if there's a glitch with anything regarding iRay. So iRay seems to be working just fine. Everything looks good. Do I still have all of my assets like Mesh Grabber? It looks like I do. So it looks like I still have Mesh Grabber. You know, it's just one of these things where, you know, the Premiere, they don't have those anymore. So I just want to make sure that we have Render Queue. Looks like I have Render Queue. Yes. Okay, so it looks like everything is okay. Okay, so I ran Render Queue. I played with Mesh Grabber. It appears that everything is working now in DAS 4.24. So that is the good news. Um, I guess I just didn't have it downloaded properly from the install manager. So just make sure that you install things properly. This is pretty interesting and I might make a quick tutorial on what I see that's different from DAS 4.23 to now DAS 4.24. All right, well, let me know what you think. Have you had trouble with your updates? Let me know if everything's running smoothly. I will let you know if I uncover any problems with DAS 4.24, but it looks like, at least for the moment, that everything is working okay. So this wasn't really a challenge as it was a walkthrough troubleshooting frustration video, but I appreciate you watching. This is what happens with Daz. It's happened to me more than once. And uh, let me know what you think. Are you having trouble? I tend to avoid updating until I go through all the Daz forums and I'm not seeing any bugs. I didn't see any this time, and maybe there's not. Maybe it was just my error. So, at any rate, I will see you later. Happy week, and uh, look for my next video on Friday. Until then, happy rendering. <laughs>